guys, welcome back to Release the Craftin. Priscilla here with a journal share for you guys today, and I am super excited to bring this journal to you. This is my uh, Amelia Earhart journal, and she is the first in my, what I'm calling, uh, Queens of History series. And so, um, the whole series is going to be some influential women throughout history that um, are either queens um literally or queens in their own right in that they um they left their mark on the world and did some positive things and inspired change so for the very first one i chose amelia Earhart, um and this is the journal that i made for it and um, i had a lot of fun making this one but i will tell you guys it was really challenging um it was hard to find like airplane stuff that wasn't um, male themed, so you, you'll see some of that in here just because, you know, it matched um, the overall tone I was going for, so I included it anyways. Or um, what I kept finding was a lot of stuff for kids, and so, you know, I had a bit of a difficulty, but I did have a lot of fun, like, scrounging around looking for the right stuff to put in this journal. So, um, I'm going to try to do one of these... Um, if not once a month, then every other month. It just depends on um, my schedule and stuff like that. But I'm going to jump into this one. I am really excited um, for it. It is, let me get my ruler. It's 6 by 9 with a, what is that, like 1 and 3 eighths spine. Almost 1 and a half inch spine. And, um... As you can see, it's got three signatures and a bunch of lace and ribbon tags. Uh, I made a charm for the closure using one of those uh, Tim Holt tokens, quote tokens, and a globe and a plane. Um, this is just a metal label that I attached to the cover with some cheesecloth that I dyed and some... Um, some brads that I uh, embossed. And I embossed a little label cover too and colored them with some alcohol ink to get them to match. And this, I believe, um, I got this on clearance, this fabric at uh, Joann's, but I think it's the Tim Holtz fabric because it matches the Tim Holtz paper that I used in here. And so that was kind of a lucky find that I wasn't even planning on. I just picked it up because it's got, you know, this really great uh, plain and script uh, print on it. And so the closure is just this little clip. And it opens right up, and the book does lay flat, and I didn't uh, count the pages for this, but I will put that in the description below. So um, what I did was I got some pictures and some quotes from Amelia online, and I thought about um, what I wanted to do for this series, if I wanted to include like historical information and their biographies in the book, and I chose not to just because I don't know... Um, what the person who buys this will be um, doing with it. So um, I'm going to include that as a separate sheet of paper. Um, so whoever gets this will also get a little bit of the history that goes with whoever I uh, choose to feature in my books. But um, otherwise, it's just going to be some images and some quotes, and um, there won't be a bunch of historical information in the book, but it will come with it. That's what I'm trying to say. So um, this line paper comes from uh, Cheryl. Uh, she's Deli Girl, and I will link her shop uh, down below. This is just um, some really great coffee-printed, stained-up-looking line paper that I thought matched um, the color scheme I was going for. And I, um, I made some coffee-stained uh, index cards that I sprayed and stenciled um, stars on with some Distress Oxide. And I used some Prima Color Bloom Spray to get the gold effect on here. And so, uh, I really like how those came out. Uh, I used some Seven Gypsies rub-ons. Uh, all the plain things I could find I put into this book, you guys. I, I like, tore apart my stash looking for anything even remotely flight-related. And, uh, I didn't add a lot of lace or anything to this because, uh, I didn't think that she was a super lacy kind of girl. Now, not that she didn't get dressed up and pretty like the rest of us like to do, but, um, I just didn't think that, uh, she would match a super lacy theme. But I did add, like, lace tabs and ribbon tabs, which I thought were more appropriate, and I really like how they came out. Um, I did some stamping. And most of the paper is either from Seven Gypsies or from Tim Holtz. And I don't know if this will still be in frame, 
There's an envelope, and on this one was a um, index card that I was just um, playing around with some Distress Oxides, and I used that Distress Oxide Resist Spray, and um, it had this really cool effect, and I ended up embossing over the top of that with that map stamp. And get some more stamping here, some more rub-ons, these are Tim Holtz rub-ons. Um, I embossed one of her quotes onto this little scrap paper, and then this is a printout of a, an actual news article that she was featured in. So you guys can read that. And then um, I made a little corner flip-up tuck spot. Used a uh, seven dot sticker here and some washi tape. So it's kind of a uh, travel themed slash plane themed. So it would make a really great travel journal for anyone who is traveling. Um, or just a regular journal. It doesn't have to be. This is a Seven Gypsies card. And I found these um, charms. I'm going to pull this off. I found these little plane charms and they're just so cute. And I got them on like super clearance sale at Michael's when they were like redoing their jewelry section. So I bought all the ones they had. So there was like four. So there's four in this uh, book. And just attached them to some paper clips. And on the back side, it's another rub on and another like a journaling card. And another index card. And I think this is an authentic journaling card. Um, like I said, I tried to find anything I could with a plane on it. So there's tons of writing space in here. And um, trying to be aware of how much writing space I include. And here's just another picture of Amelia. And then a large flip out of her in front of a plane. And I love this uh, picture of her. I think it's so great. She has a great smile. And so I added a little um, tiny tag on it and a sticker. And I did some um, stamping with a Prima stamp. And then this is um, like a book page envelope that Shana made me. And inside is a little to-do list. And I tried not to overstuff this book, so there is lots of space to add um, more stuff. But I did include a bunch of tags and cards and stuff. And here's another quote of hers that I embossed on here. Another rub-on. Some more washi tape. I made a little pocket with these little tags that um, Shana sent me, these little tags. And I thought they were just really cute, so I added stickers to that. And another card. I love this matte paper. And this is some, like... Um, vintage paper that I think April sent me. And then this flips up. This is also perforated, so you could just tear this right off if you wanted to take this note and stick it somewhere else. And then another paper clip. Skip it ahead. And then this is a, um, like a cool little collage with a tag. And then there's another pocket back here with another little card slid in. And then here is a little corner tuck with a index card and then pull out the paper clip. It folds out and it's her, um, it's like her flight certification ID card, I guess. I don't really know the, the technical term for it, but I thought that was really cute. So kept that folded up like it would be in her wallet and this travel log is here and this is the index card that was on the back side and then there's a belly band so another great picture of her there's some more rub-ons back here I did some stamping here and then there's a little flip up envelope with another card She was just, like, super inspiring to me. I, I really, like, admire people who are the first to do anything. And, um, you know, especially when, at the time that she did it, you know, people didn't think women could do much of anything. And there she was, you know, flying across the world and doing all sorts of things. This is her going on a deep dive. Like, that's just such an adventurous spirit. And I just thought that was really inspirational. So I really wanted to include her in this series. 
So here's another large belly band with a little bit of this lace. I really like this color. And I added a uh, trademark tag that I made of her. I used a um, James Luke Burke stamp and um, did some changes to it and then sketched her out. I glossy accented her little goggles and um, colored the tag with some Distress Oxide, did some embossing on it. So I added that in here. So this book does come with a trademark tag and every book in my Queens of History series will have a trademark tag in it. And some more rub-ons. I don't think I have any plain rub-ons left anymore, you guys. I, I like emptied out my whole stash. And there's the journaling card, another image of her, and another index card. And I had a lot of fun picking out papers for this too. I like how um, like vintage it came out looking. And I added this little rub onto the map. I just thought that was cute. And then um, I think this is a recollections paper pack that I got. But I added it because of this plane. It wasn't really because of the Caribbean, but it goes. And then here's another one of those cards I made where I was just kind of playing around with that Distress Resist Spray. And then there's another pocket with a to-do list. If you ever look up any of the quotes and stuff she said, she was really, like, a motivational person. So I tried to add as many of her motivational things, but um, she also just told people just to do it. Like, there's, you know, if you're going to do it, just do it. And I, I don't know, I tried to add stuff like that into this uh, book. So there's another corner flip up. And um, here's a bag that I stamped with um, that Prima stamp, and then I embossed this with some WOW embossing powder. And included another image of her on her plane. And then here's um, a little infographic that I uh, printed out that I turned into like a little flip out and a, um, a little pocket. It's... Um, I mean, it's legible, I can read it, but you might need a magnifying glass, but I left, like, all their, um, website information down here on the bottom, so if you wanted to see this full size, you, um, you can go online and look that up full size to get a better view, and this is the very last page, it's an envelope with some more of that, um, like, vintage planner paper inside of it, and then more journaling cards and that's it. I think um, this journal came out really great and um, I hope that it inspires other people um, with her story and you know um, even just the whole mystery surrounding her di disappearance is um, it's really fascinating and they found some more evidence recently about it and um, so I hope you guys go look that up and I hope that you enjoyed this journal. Um, this will be listed in my store. So um, you guys can check it out there if you need to see more pictures and details. But uh, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.